First, it was Wuhan. Now there's been a second outbreak of COVID-19 in the Chinese city of Jilin, more than 2,000 kilometers away up near the border with Russia and North Korea. Dozens of new cases have been reported and the authorities have imposed new restrictions. In Wuhan itself, where the pandemic started, all 11 million inhabitants are being tested. Well, I'm joined now by our China media analyst, Kerry Allen. And Kerry, do we know more about how the new outbreak and Jilin came about? Yes, we do. Yes, it all started with a laundry worker who tested positive in a city called Shulan last week. But what is unclear is how she was able to get the virus. Um, She tested positive, um, but uh, she hadn't been in contact with anybody else who'd had the virus. And so the authorities are now looking at whether she might have caught it off clothing uh, because she had literally been staying indoors and only seeing her mother and travelling by car, so not travelling by public transport. And the authorities have been pretty quick, haven't they, to test. What else are they doing? They've been extremely quick. So instantly they've, they've stopped train and long-distance bus services. Um, they've uh, banned social gatherings straight away, indoor public venues, things like theatres, internet cafes, um, public bathhouses have just been closed until further notice. And they've been able to trace anybody since who started showing symptoms and there have been 21 confirmed cases in the last week of COVID-19 not only in Shulan but also in Jilin city Um, so uh, so both of these two major cities have have imposed these lockdown measures and more than 200 people are now being tested for the virus who've come into contact with these new cases. And what about the authorities in neighbouring places? Yes, so this is a major concern at the moment because there has been an extra confirmed case of COVID-19 in neighbouring Liaoning province. Um, and, uh, And what's happening is that China is asking provinces and provincial level regions to take responsibility for this. So this is why we're seeing in Jilin cases of the case of Shulan and Jilin City um, straight away imposing lockdowns. But what is now going to happen is if cases grow in Liaoning, they're going to have to, all the different cities in this region are going to have to impose similar lockdowns. So they're being very, very careful and, uh, and trying to isolate cases that this person who's got the virus might have come into contact with. And how are the public reacting to this? Well, amazingly, they're actually staying quite positive. I mean, people have seen that Wuhan has has come out of lockdown and that people are starting to go back to school, starting to go back to work. And so they're saying if Wuhan was able to survive this and come through this, then you will too. So there's a lot of positivity online. Uh, The platform Sina Weibo, which is China's version of Twitter, lots of people saying you'll get through this. We've been through this. You'll get through it too. Carrie Allen.